Hi, my name is Jeremy Fisher. I am the manager of Mimic Design and Test at Wolfspeed, one of the world's leading suppliers of GAN technologies. I'm going to demonstrate our Microwave Office G28V5 PDK. It's our new PDK, just being released to support our 0.14 micron 40 gigahertz Mimic process. So as you can see here, we've taken a lot of effort into making sure that everything is included necessary for a successful, successful first pass run at a Mimic design in our new V5 process. Included in here are stack ups that define the full EM, all dielectric layers, materials, EM layer mappings necessary to utilize Microwave Office's Axiom EM simulator. Additionally, we have we have substrate definitions for each of the various metallization that we use within our process. One of the big considerations when designing into our process are the nonlinear models of the FETs and the associated layout. We provide layout and nonlinear models for three different types of FETs within our V5 process. The first is a standard slot via FET that has integrated slot vias within each source pad. It's fully scalable so that you can change gate width, number of fingers, and cell size. And you can see that it automatically will adjust the size and the number of vias within each pad in compatibility with our process. Additionally, we offer FETs that have N vias that are then airbridged into the individual internal source vias, which allows you to have a more compact FET. We also offer FETs that have no slot vias so that you have direct access to the various source pads for common gate configurations or source degeneration in the case of an LNA. Beyond the FET, we also have a number of transmission line elements that are fully compatible with our single and stacked metal transmission lines, including emlins, curves, curved traces, mitered traces, and all the various junction and T's that would be needed for design. These are automatically designed such that the bridge code recognizes what is attached to it and will automatically change the metallization and layout to be compatible with our rules. One of the things about designing into our particular process that makes it more difficult for most that the Microwave Office PDK directly takes care of for you is the rounding, particularly of stacked metallization. We're not allowed to have, for instance, right corners at junctions when you have stacked metal. The various T's and junctions take care of that for you making it much easier to move through your layout and your simulation without losing time to the minor details such as rounding internal corners. Uh, it also helps reduce the, the chance of DRC errors when you're doing those particular layout fee, um, schemes. Another thing that we have are a number of internal uh, MIM caps and thin film resistors. Our standard, our standard MIM cap is a 180 puff capacitor. And again, the Microwave Office PDK automatically accounts for all the rounding rules and connections when air bridging to the top layer and sizing these appropriately. It also accounts for the change in the capacitance that you get because of those rounding rules. Additionally, we offer a high density capacitor that has a 300 puff per square millimeter as opposed to 180 puff per square millimeter. It also accounts for the rounding rules that are required to support that. Additionally, we have three types of thin film resistor, a 12 ohm resistor and two bulk resistors, one at 70 ohms and one at 400 ohms. Additionally, all of the connectivity and the contact resistance is accounted for in the PDK making it much easier to get through the design quickly and efficiently. 
3D visualization is also completely accounted for in the design. You can see here I have a single stage X-band amplifier designed using MIM caps, thin film resistors, our internal FET, and both stacked metalizations and single metalizations, as well as our GSG probes for input and output. When we run simulations of this, we can see that we have a 10, a 10 gigahertz amplifier showing about 13 dB of gain, a good input and output match at 10 gigahertz, and if we run the power sweep, we can see that we're getting somewhere on the order of about 38 dBm of power out of this single stage device. <laughs> Additionally, we have the input capacitance structure along with the TFR that has been meshed using our internal, internally supplied EM stack. This takes advantage of direct mapping into Axiom so that you can account for strange structures such as this atypical connection between the MIM caps and the TFR. If we look at this, we can see that we do indeed have different, a small, small difference in the EM and the electrically uh, simulated results of that particular capacitance. And when we put it into our simulation, we see a slight difference in the gain and particularly in the input match between the two. Again, being able to take advantage of this easily integrated EM capability with Axiom allows for a much more efficient, much quicker design time, with less chance of error. One other thing is that we include full DRC capability. For instance, if we were to look at this mitered bend very simply, a standard miter would have a ratio of 0.5. However, if we run our DRC, we find that that gives us an error, which can easily be adjusted and accounted for. So that when you run your DRC again, you get no errors. Again, having a DRC clean layout makes it much more efficient and makes it much quicker to tape out. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this demonstration of some of the capabilities of the new Microwave Office PDK supporting the, the Wolfspeed G28 V5 process. Thank you.